uh, I wanted to share just a little bit about me. When I was 17, I got in a fatal car wreck with my best friend. Um, she passed away. I saw an angel as we were wrecking, actually. But after that, it was when I first met, like, my demons or my shadow side or whatever you like to say. I can viv vividly remember what they look like. I can remember going into another realm dimension and it's like all black, like floating and like blocks that were like covered with fountains of blood and just my perception of a demon too, before I had many of them. But at 17 is when the doctors told me because I cracked my neck and thankfully, thank you Lord, I wasn't paralyzed and but that's when they told me I would always have to be on pain meds the rest of my life and eventually, you know, just have surgery on my neck, which I eventually had surgery on my neck because at one point I couldn't feel my arms and my legs. And that that started a cycle of anything dark. I wanted to die. I thought about death like all the time. Um, and there's a lot to it, but it all started when I was 17. Like, I had issues as a kid, like, with my parents separating and just stuff like that, which everything kind of goes, I think, to childhood, actually. But when I was 17, um, yeah, that's when I first tried to take my life. And I got put up into a um, mental hospital or a hospital, you know, I had to be watched over. And everything and it, it was pretty it was pretty rough um, then I turned to drugs because I didn't want to live so I didn't really care what I did and I anything anyone threw at me I would try because I just didn't care and that's kind of where it all began and it all ended way later down the road I'm 35 now actually about to be 36 this month but um, yeah and I got over all the pain meds I was taking, I got over all the antidepressants, the nerve meds, like the injections in my spine, like all the stuff they did, weed did help me, but then I don't even have to use weed now because as I keep going through my process, like I just keep getting rid of everything, like it worked for that time and then I like, ooh, I'm up to the next thing, like now I'm just loving life and being happy. And it wasn't that easy, but it was a, it was quite a, it was quite a, quite a bit. And what's really crazy, like on, a, like ancestral or like genetics or not even genetics. I don't even know what to say. I have a, I have three children, but my second son, he was born and uh, he got diagnosed with diabetes at eight years old. He tried to take his life. Um, he's been in and out of institutions and been suicidal on tons of medications like antidepressants, anti-anxiety and a lot of them they ended up after a few years on them caused them to have thyroid issues, high cholesterol and I cut him off of all of that and he wasn't what he was but he was because we get told our diagnosis. I was diagnosed with several things too and I'm not those things. Maybe in that moment in time I was but I'm not and I helped heal I healed myself really I had to feel all alone like everyone was against me yes it was in my head but yeah like it was meant to be that way in the hints of the shadow side because that's how I found found myself my lord whatever you want to express it as like self-love and I now have my son off all the meds he has no thyroid issues no cholesterol issues his behaviors are a lot more, he has a lot of energy, which I do too, and every emotion was like, ah! and one would call that bipolar, but it stems down to childhood and environment and medicine and society and worth, like, oh my fucking God, it's like so much shit that it comes down to, but my son is like fucking awesome, like, we practice breathing, I mean, he's only 14 now. I have two other children also, but him, he had struggled more with his emotions because even when he was a baby, like, if he got really excited, he'd be like, Wah! 
and now he is like so fucking great and with the diabetes because he's type 1 like that messed up his behavior too like if he's high on his sugars usually he's just like bouncing off the wall or he gets really irritable and when he was low it's kind of like in a sense like whenever someone's drunk but he was like real kooky and falling all over but now he's recognizing everything more because he struggled with that because he already was struggling with a lot anyways he's gone through and had a lot of other issues with him too but this is all scattered but I just I'm just fucking happy and I wanted to share just this little bit because if you think you have a diagnosis you might but it's to be aware not to have it for you not to be condemned like the scarlet letter forever you can get over that shit don't listen to anyone but yourself <laughs> but not a negative side of you not your shadow side like no you're great know that everything happens for you know that everything you do means something even just ooh, moving my arm that means something oh touching my hair reading a book I'm currently going over this one because that's really I love Power off. but oops that's my radio thing but yeah so that's just a little bit 